Hello and welcome back Squirrel Nation. I hope you're all having an outstanding day. Today's video is going to be all about tempo. And what do I mean by tempo? Tempo is how you spend your gold, when you spend your gold. Do you use it to re-roll? Do you use it to level? Um, what do you do? So this video, the focus is on tempo. It had nothing to do with play actually outside of just tempo decisions. So anyways, with that said, let's dive in. So we start out, we hit a two star, cool. Uh, we have pair sitting on the board and we also have some synergy set up. We have a B synergy, our two star frost knight. We could go towards knights, we could go towards warriors. But like I said, for this video, we're not really gonna focus on synergy type decisions. We're gonna be focusing on tempo. Okay, so next round is a tempo decision. Do I level or do I not level? Okay, so I can spend five gold and you can become level five. The advantages that you will get is that you will have extra heroes on the board because a lot of people won't level so they'll still have four heroes you'll have five you're almost guaranteed to win unless you get unlucky right so when do you want to do that well it's probably a good thing to do if you think you can win streak but here i lose round four so if you lose round four then you're not as inclined to level at round five because you already lost it's not like you're getting close to a win streak and then also round five another thing that comes up is how good's this shop. So in this shop, I have a poison worm. I already have some warriors. Um, that's a great unit. I wanna buy it. So I buy it and uh, yeah, we decide not to level because I just don't have the economy to level after I buy all the things I wanna buy. Okay, so here we're going and at the same time, I'm still judging. It's like, okay, so I have a pair of Tuskers. I have a pair of war chief. I have a third uh, warrior in Abyssal Guard and I have a poison worm. So you know what? We're looking pretty good for Beast Warrior, but I'm not quite there. I don't. I only have one two star, and it doesn't fit my other synergy. My other, you know, my synergy right now is looking more knights, but actually my bench is warriors. So we're in between. Things aren't looking that good. So then there's the tempo decision: Is it worth me to spend my economy um, if I can't ensure that I'm going to get on a win streak? Probably not. So we see the next shop. Okay, I get some more warriors. So now it's looking, it's like, okay, now I have four and five warriors, plus I have a poison worm already. So can we win streak right now? Probably not. We don't have any two stars. If, if I sell all the knight stuff, I don't have two stars, right? Um, I'm just stuck with a bunch of one star warriors that are pairs. So once again, do I want to level? Do I want to spend the five gold? Mm, probably not, right? The five gold is not going to return my investment. It's not really going to help me out. Um, to do that, I would have to sell stuff off my bench, and I don't really want to sell stuff off my bench because my bench is actually contains a very strong synergy. Like, we all know that Six Warrior is a great comp. It's pretty damn consistent, and I have a really good start for it. So I'm not going to sell stuff from my bench. I'm not going to level because, like we said, we're not going to get win streak, so we're just going with it, okay? So, okay, now here's another thing. Okay, I just won. So I'm not on a lose streak. I'm not on a win streak, but I just won. My bench is really nice. Let's see if we can hit things, right? And... This is the thing about tempo and where tempo becomes something that high level players get better and better and better at, right? So here we go. Okay, I hit a two star uh, Tusker. All of a sudden, bells go off because now I have the core ingredients of a uh, six uh, warrior beast, right? So now if you notice, it's like, okay, I want to get my synergy on. So I got three beasts on. I got my three warriors on the board. It's like, okay, let's level here because I also have other good things to p put on the board. I can put in another warrior. Um, also, we can finally get rid of these um, knights. So we sell off the light blade knight. I can sell off the uh, frost knight. And now our economy is starting to build up. We don't have any waste. Everything on the board on our bench is things that we want towards our comp. And then notice it is round seven. I hit four, four beast, three warriors, right? So now my synergies are off the charts. These are crazy synergies for this round. So what do I do? You know what? I can get on a win streak. So as soon as I know I can get on a win streak, that's why I spent that gold right there. So if I wouldn't have spent the gold to level, I would have got one gold in interest. But from winning the round, I also get one gold in interest. So there's that trade-off. The other thing is that I think that I can get on a really nice streak, especially now we're hitting other two stars. So now it's looking really, really good um, for me to get on a really nice streak. So here becomes the next choice. So if you notice, round eight. Uh, round eight and round nine are when people... Uh, will level again. They can go to level six if they spend. And if they spend, that's another tempo play. That's an aggressive tempo. You're taking a fast tempo. You're speeding up the pace of the game. Okay? So that becomes another choice. And now, do you think I want to do it? Here, yes, I want to do it. I am very confident I can go on a win streak. I have one of the best early game synergy combos in the game. 
Um, I have good stuff to put on the board, right? I can put on the Swordsman next level, and that will bring in a Cave Clan synergy. Then I'm rocking with three of the best early game synergies. So win streaking is extremely likely in this case. Also, notice I'm crushing the enemies, right? Six heroes I'm destroying people by. So, anyways, egg, worm, right? Normally, egg is a tempo killer. It it ruins your economy, but when you're win streaking, egg can be your best friend. Egg. Right here, I better egg that poison worm. Egging the poison worm right here, that's another tempo play. So I just bought the worm, I bought the eggs, so and notice my economy's killed, we did level. So at round nine, I'm almost zero gold, right? So that is, that's the aggressive tempo, and oh, I'm not using the egg, I better, okay, I do use the egg, thank God, I was, I was about to tilt myself. So the point I wanna make to you all is if you look at everybody else's economy in the game, 20, 20, 20, zero, 20, 16, 20, right? So six, uh, or sorry, five players in this game are all above 20 gold. One other player is tied with me with just basically no gold, right? He has zero, I have one, okay? And then a person at 11. So that is because I took an aggressive tempo, right? If you look at the people with 20 gold, they're level five, okay? So they're getting the bank, I'm getting the extra heroes on the board. So this is where tempo, um, this is where it becomes kind of difficult to explain this, especially to newer players. Tempo is something you kind of have to experience, but I really want to try my best to explain this. So um, if any questions come up, please don't hesitate to ask in the questions. I will definitely be watching the comment section of this video very carefully and trying to answer everybody's question because I know some of the tempo stuff can get really confusing, but if you master tempo, you will see a significant uh, improvement in your, your gameplay. So anyways, okay, we're, we're still grabbing stuff because at this point, I know that I can be on a huge win streak. If we fight first place, I'm going to win. They only have one, they only have five heroes. I have six. And two, when we're scouting, I'm looking at their quality. Okay. So I'm looking at the quality and quality comes in a few ways. Quality comes in, in terms of, uh, the quality of their units, AKA, do they have two stars? Do they have three stars? Right. And then it also comes in the quality of synergy right now. I don't think anybody's beating me quality of synergy. Um, four beast with warriors at around 10 is insane synergy like there's not too many synergies that are going to beat it so then i just need to look at hero quality um the two stars right are my two star do i have more two stars than them okay so anyways and now we're getting items also so again tempo 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 so one reason i chose this game is because actually when i was playing this game i knew i wanted to make a video on tempo so in this game i go extreme okay i i end up going the most extreme aggressive tempo you can go for and i just want to do that to illustrate um i i just want to make very clear the effects of tempo and what you're going to notice is this is a queen lobby okay all these players know how to get gold they know how to level they right they they understand all this stuff and you are going to notice when we get to round 21 is that I think more than half the lobby doesn't even go to level 8, okay? And for queen players, going to level 8 by round 21 is almost, it, it's something that's virtually set in stone. Like, it's super weird for that not to happen. And the reason that happens in this game is tempo, right? It's because I, I just reroll crazy. I'm looking for upgrades like crazy. I'm always leveling when I get the chance. So the reason I bring this up is round 13. Here becomes another tempo decision. Round 13, I can level to seven. Okay, I can go to level seven or I can stay at level six and try to economy up. Okay, so the most aggressive play is leveling. So do I level or do I save my bank and reroll? Okay, that's another thing about tempo. You can, temp you can increase the tempo by re-rolling, but you can also increase the tempo, your tempo, by leveling, okay? So here, so far, in these first uh, pre-level seven, if you've noticed pre-level seven, I have not been using my gold to re-roll, I've been using my gold to level, okay? So that becomes another um, dynamic in the game. You can, you can have tempo different ways, and experiment, have fun with it. I can, I can tell you the formula that, um, is probably the more common formula but i think it's great for new players and even experienced players like i'm even talking to king one players right now i'm honestly i'm talking to probably anybody in king right now um you can benefit from tempo just as much as the knights the bishops the rooks so anyways experiment with leveling experiment with re-rolling and just get a feel for how tempo changes your games how it affects the decision making in your games okay but anyways we hit our razor claw right uh, so that's great. So now we're to the basic building 
building blocks of a warrior beast comp and if you notice i didn't end up leveling so why did i not end up leveling okay there's a couple couple points here i'm going to make is going down to zero if you think about yourself at zero gold it takes a lot longer for you to build up your bank if you're at 20 gold it's quicker if you're at 30 gold it's quicker than from 20 and why i mean that is because of that interest right so if you stay around 30 gold then you're actually not hurting your economy that bad because if you say say you're at 50 you re-roll down to 30 gold and then you start saving your money to get back to 50 again by the time you get to 50 gold you'll have only sacrificed five gold in economy in overall economy right so 30 doesn't help you that much but if you go if you roll down to 20 then you're going to end up sacrificing i believe it's nine gold okay so that's a big difference right just just re-rolling down 10 extra gold actually costs you four additional gold uh the, the penalty is four additional gold so that's why 30 tends to be a sweet spot um and i'm just going to give 30 as a general rule so uh if you all are more interested in this subject i can try to dive into it more but i don't want to get too into the numbers but just a general rule is 30 is a great number so in that case, I decided, you know what, I don't want to crush my economy too low, So, and I don't need to level because I'm winning, right? It, let's say I wasn't winning those because I wasn't hitting upgrades, I wasn't getting my two stars. Then maybe I'm like, okay, you know what, let's get to seven and keep, keep this win streak going. But in this case, it's like, no, you know what, I'm going to let my economy continue to build because I'm already winning the game. And then I can use that economy later to speed up... Um, the tempo, I, I can tempo up at a different time. So another very interesting thing about the game, um, and to me personally, tempo is what makes the game enjoyable because it adds so much depth and richness to the game. And that is that people, their power curves. You will see people who roll down 50 gold at one time, right? They literally will level and then roll down 50 gold. And ask yourself why they're doing that. They're doing that for Temple. They're doing that so that they can go from a very weak te team to a very strong team, right? Then you also have the people who get to 50 gold and they just stay above 50 gold the whole time and they slowly re-roll over time, okay? So now the reason I say this is think about those teams in terms of their power curve, how strong their overall team is, right? The person who stays above 50 gold and just re-rolls a little bit each round, right? Their, their power progression is going to be very linear. It's just going to kind of, okay, a little better, a little better, a little better, right? Each round they're getting a little better, a little better, a little better. Um, whereas the person who just is like 50 gold YOLO, then their power curve just absolutely spikes. It's just kind of going, 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 and then bam, huge power spike, okay? And there's honestly no right and wrong answer between these. I'm just trying to point this out so that you all can have it in the back of your mind so that you can experiment and you can think about it. Um, but I will tell you that a major difference between queen players and non-queen players is they tend to power spike. They don't use, they, they don't rely on a linear increase in power, right? They don't do that, just get to 50 and then reroll a little bit each round, right? You will see them do that when they're way ahead. But the way that they generally get way ahead is either they got really lucky or is they actually use tempo earlier in the game right they they made a smart leveling decision they made a smart re-rolling decision to hit some key thing that let them get on a really nice win streak okay so anyways we're to round 17 we are still just going uh the only time we lost health was what those first i think it was three rounds or no two rounds so we lost two rounds in the very beginning of the game so round four and five since then we've been winning and we're looking good so we're at that 30 number um, if you notice, 30 tends to be a number that I'm sitting around right now. So we're looking at that. We're looking at people's level. Um, round 17 is another chance I could have leveled to 8 if I wanted to. But once again, if I would have leveled to 8, I would have been in a below 10 gold economy. So I don't want to do that, right? But at the same time, I, I may want to level to 8 before uh, round 21. And why would I want to level to 8 before round 21? Like we just said, hey, Chaos, you could just you could easily get to 50 gold right now, and then you could just slowly re-roll, right? You could just gradually increase your team's power. Um, so why would you want to do that? And, and that becomes the question is you need to look at the enemy team comps. So let's say there's a bunch of mages in my lobby. The worst thing for mage players is a fast, high-tempo game because mages need time to get their perfect synergy. They need time to kill those minion rounds, get their mana crystals, right? They just need time to come online. 
Same thing with the Glacier Knight, right? Those Glacier Knights who want to reroll for their hell, their three-star Hell Knight, their three-star Light Blade Knight, they want time. The longer a game goes on for them, the better it is, okay? So a lot of people are always asking me like, hey, what counters Dragon Mages? What counters these other things? And my answer is often tempo. So I really hope in this video it's making sense when I say tempo is what counters them. Uh, I, I, I hope everybody sees that out of this. And so in this game, I... Like I said, I'm just going to smash the tempo button. So if you notice, I did just level to 8. So round 18, I leveled to 8. The rest of the lobby normally will not go to level 8 until round 21. But look at that. I'm crushing people by almost 20 health at round 18. Okay? So if you look at people's health right now, there's two people who are 20, 21 and 19. And it's not even round 20 yet, right? So that is from tempo play. That's because I'm pushing the pace of this game. I have all these two stars I'm constantly going higher in level and putting on more two stars. Um, so that is it. And like I said, we're going to notice here in the next two rounds, you're going to you're gonna see how crazy it is. If you see third place is currently at level six, it is round 19. That is insanely low. And, and once again, these are queen players. These are players who know what they're doing. And to be quite honest, they made the right choice. Because when you're in a tempo... The person in first place generally sets the tempo of the match, okay? If they do what I'm doing in this video, they're re-rolling aggressively, they're also, let's be honest, getting lucky, they're hitting stuff, then the match is going to end quickly. You need to adjust your leveling, you need to adjust your re-rolling strategy to the, the leader, the game, the person ahead of everybody else, okay? So anyways, look at this. Like, 15 health right there, and that was the person, I think that was third place, I think that was second or third place player, and we just killed them for 15 health in round 19. But anyway, so 20's coming. We're still, we're re-rolling. At this point, okay, to be honest, what I would normally do from here is I would econ back up to 30. Um, that normally what I would do is I would econ, and then I would kind of decide if I want to keep re-rolling from there or not. But like I said, in this game, we're going to really, really push the tempo so that I can just show you all what it does. And when I... When I'm recommending that all of you practice tempo, I think this is how you should do it. You should go to the extremes, okay? Don't try to just find, don't try to middle. Don't try to kind of tempo but not really do it. To me, I think you should either go for an extremely slow tempo, which would be empty fording, or you go for an extremely fast tempo, which is you're aggressively leveling, and then you follow up your aggressive leveling by aggressive re-rolling once, uh, once you're above level 7, maybe even level 8, depending what's happening. <clears throat> Okay, and then that was the other thing I'm going to point out, right? So up to level 8, our tempo, how are we spending our gold, right? We've been spending our gold on leveling, okay? I, I barely was re-rolling. Actually, I don't think I even re-rolled before level 7, okay? And even at level 7, I'm not sure I re-roll. I think, I think we did a few re-rolls at level 7, but now that we're 8, notice it's just re-rolling every round because we're on the win streak. We get that extra gold, right? We... Just on just my win streak alone is the same as having 30 gold in the bank, okay? So I can just keep re-rolling every round and just keep powering my team. And the more I power my team up, the more I'm killing people. Like, look at these boards, right? This is round 21. Look what this person's losing by. And this person, yeah. So if you look at the health pools right now, right? The bottom four teams have less than 30 health, right? And it's only round 21. So... That's the thing. And like I said, if we look, it's round 21. So there's one, two, three, four teams. So half the lobby is still level seven at round 21. And if you look at why that is, look at their economy. Okay. Last place has no health and no economy. Why? They had to reroll to try to hold on. Because if they, if, if they're that mage, they're that glacier knight low rolling, they they cannot be greedy at all. They just had to absolutely YOLO roll because they could die in one round. Like, literally those people in the bottom places, like, uh, probably 8th uh, place, 7th place, I can just, if they fight me once, they're dead, right? So everybody is powering up their team. So let's look at these economies real quick. Um, second place, cool, 50 gold economy. Third place, 40 gold. Okay, cool. But below that, look, the economies are dead. Fourth place is level 7 with 19 gold, Okay. And then fifth place is level eight, but has no gold. And then, right, so I really hope I'm explaining this in a way that makes it easy for people to understand. But when you speed up the tempo, it, it, it mandates that other teams speed up the tempo. If other teams don't speed up the tempo, they're going to die. And notice, who did I lose to? 
I lost to last place. I lost to the person who has zero gold and is still level seven, right? And you ask, why did I lose to them? I lost to them because they went, they, they absolutely had to YOLO roll and they did the right thing, right? If this was not a, um, if this wasn't a queen player, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that, right? And this is why queen players, like very skilled players, have an easy time in lower level lobbies because lower level players don't understand how to punish with tempo. They don't, they don't understand like when they should be aggressive and they'll let people creep back into games, right? Okay, so I've hit enough of an aggressive tempo. Now let's talk about the mistake that's being made by me. And this is basically an intentional mistake and because I wanna point out the downside of tempo. And so we're gonna point out the downside of tempo in this game. Okay, so I lost my win streak. What do we start doing once we lose our win streak is we should start saving our economy back up. Okay, so, so from here on, I already have a huge HP lead. The only person who beat me was just that, that person who YOLO rolled that has four HP right now, okay? So from here, um, what you should do is just save your gold, okay? You should save, you should get back up to 30, 40, 50 gold, and then you can use the interest to, to kind of gradually reroll because you have a health cushion, right? I'm 40 health ahead of second place, okay? Um, but what happens if you become too passive? What, what will happen if you're a front running team and you start to get too greedy? You, you want to stay, you want to save 50 gold and you want to only spend down to 50 gold every round. What happens? Okay. Well, that means you're slowing the tempo, right? You're, you're slowing down the game. You're giving other teams a chance to reroll. You're giving them a chance to economy. Okay. So if we pay attention to, I want to pay attention to the people at 50. So, uh, Kin is at 50 gold and uh, North is at 50 gold, and that is, what is that, third place and fifth place, okay? Only players at 50 gold right now. Um, everybody else is below 30 gold, okay? So what's gonna happen to these players who are taking a more gradual re-rolling route? Like, they're being greedy, essentially. Like, what's, what's gonna happen to them? Okay, and if we look at their team comps, one of them is going Goblin, is trying to go goblin so will they hit their devastator goblin gamble right another one looked like they were going for like some sort of goblin assassins okay so anyways we'll just kind of keep monitoring them think of what's going but anyways so now now i'm in in the game i'm not gonna any more power spikes i don't believe like i don't believe we're gonna do any crazy nine stuff like that i think we're just we're just kind of gradually re-rolling at 30 okay so Hopefully this makes it clear, and yeah, so we, a goblin assassin. So goblin tanks with assassin backline. Okay, so we started the game, nothing was really happening. We were just trying to see if we could get synergies, if we could get good units. We tempoed up, we spent aggressively on levels to level, we bought level five, we bought level six, we bought level seven, we bought level eight. Um, then we re-rolled. As soon as we lost, we save up our gold to 30, okay? And then now from here, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it's just going to kind of moderately go. And no, actually, see, oh, I tempoed up. So I actually, I went with the extreme. So that would, to me, that is the misplay. Because from here, I'm not guaranteed a win streak, right? We're, we're not guaranteed a win streak, and now I killed my economy, right? So this is actually, there's good times to tempo up, and there's bad times to tempo up. When you're win streaking, when you have potential to win streak, is a good time to tempo up right? When you are going to be middling, meaning you're going to lose some, you're going to win some, it is not a good time to tempo up because you're sacrificing too much economy. So now I have no economy, but we're, we're going to hope and pray that I still win and I can get on the win streak. This is the person who beat me, by the way. This is last place. This is that Glacier Knight. Well, they're seventh place now. But so this is the person that beat me. So did level nine help me, right? And and here becomes the problem. It did not help me, right? So that is, this is the consequence of tempo. Also, another thing I want to point out is if you look, last place is now the sixth place finisher. So they're already into sixth place. They're still going. They're beating me on top. And just look at people's health. Everybody in the game is below 20 health. 20 health or below, except for me. And I have a 56 gold lead, and it's only round 27, right? So, like, what do you think this game is going to look like by round 30? And you ask yourself, well, why'd that happen? And once again, it comes from the tempo. Like, last place had to YOLO roll couldn't like had to go to eight had to yolo roll had to hit their their maximum team power spike and since then they're basically re-rolling still right like look at the economies now nobody's left with a healthy economy okay so 
everybody's at eight, what's the chance that somebody else goes to nine at this point, right? But now say, imagine I, imagine I re-rolled instead of being aggressive for level nine. Then, you know, I probably could have hit more upgrades. I also could have had a, more, a higher and higher econ advantage, right? So the reason I keep harping on this, and let me state it clearly, is the reason at different levels, you want to, you want to, uh, tempo in different ways. So when you're below level seven, I think you should use your gold to level up. When you are above level seven, I think you should often use your gold to reroll. So the mistake that I made tempo wise here is I use my gold at to level to nine instead of rerolling. So if I would have used that gold to reroll instead of level, I think my team would be looking a lot better right now. Yes, I'd be missing a hero, but nobody in this game is going to get to nine, right? Their, their economies are crushed. The tempo has been too fast. Like we're already fighting for that last place thing. Um, so anyways, there it goes. And here we are, we're fighting the feather team and same thing. And look, we're fighting second place from their point of view. And this person is in fourth place with six health. So you can see how quickly this game is going to come to a wrap. But anyways, bam, Kin is out. Bam, blank is out, so that was the person I was fighting. And look, that person who had a YOLO roll in last place, uh, they made it into fourth. So they definitely got lucky. They definitely hit things that they wanted to hit, right? And we haven't beat them the last two times we fought. So uh, another thing about measuring your, your team, your tempo, all that stuff, is if you ask yourself, well, what happened? Squirrel was doing so good into early, and yeah, he misspent his gold a little bit, but I mean, he still had a huge advantage and all this. Well, what happened is I stopped hitting my two stars, right? So I last round I upgraded my pirate. This round I upgraded my siren. But before that, I was sitting on four different four cost units that were all one star, right? And when you get into this later round where everybody's powered up their team, like look at this Glacier Knight guy, right? He's already hitting his three stars, everything like that. He has a Devastator. Um, then all of a sudden, the the having level nine with a bunch of one stars is not nearly as good as being at level eight with a bunch of two stars. So that's the last time I'm going to mention it, but hopefully it's very clear what I'm trying to illustrate in that um, pre-level, pre-level eight, spend your gold level, <laughs> post-level eight, spend your gold to re-roll and upgrade those epics. Okay, anyways, so bam, round 29, top three, already top three teams. So seven people are out of this game, um, and that is how heavily a win streaking team should dictate <clears throat> tempo. So... The note on that, and this is kind of, I don't know, homework, or this is like practice. This, this is how I advise you to practice what, I, uh, what I'm trying to teach you this video. And that is, next time you're in a game where you're high rolling, you're getting super lucky, and you're having a great start, and you're on a win streak, I want you to really focus how you use your gold, okay? Really focus on when you're leveling. Focus on when you're re-rolling. Why, you, why are you leveling? Why are you re-rolling, right? Um, if you do that every time you get in a win streaking game, it is going to make you perform, perform so much better. You will notice that you start to get first places way more often, right? And something about first places in this game is you have to get lucky to get first place, okay? So I think that applies to everybody. I, so I won't say every game you get lucky you win, but I'll say if you won, I promise you got lucky at some point. Like you hit really good items, you hit really good upgrades something happened for you to get first place. I, I don't think I've ever won a game where I thought, oh, wow, I had terrible luck and I got first place, right? So um, that's why I think it matters. Because, and this was the key I'm trying to say, is just because you have luck does not mean you will finish first place. But every time I have a lucky game and I don't finish first place, it really upsets me because that's when I really knew, that's when I know I blew a great opportunity. <clears throat> okay, so anyways, I have a 57 health lead. Um, they are, one of them is level nine, the other one's level eight, but he only has a 20 gold economy and the other person at level nine has no economy. So I, that, that is the state of the game and we are just fighting it out. Um, if anybody takes a big loss, they could be out of the game, but most likely most of these teams look like they're about two losses away. And there we go. The person hits their goblins. And once again, he hit his goblin. He hit a two star devastator. I mean, that like, that is luck. You just can't control, right? So here's, here's the question. Does he get first place? Do I get first place? Do I get third place? Like, what, what is going to happen, right? So we have the druid, we have the goblin gamble person. The goblin gamble who hit a two-star devastator. So, um, yeah, anyways. 
We're checking out the formation. How can we win? Why do you think I'm looking? And I guess from here on, tempo's kind of dead. So the tempo portion of the video is over. We'll just talk about strategy from the end of the game. Why am I scouting the uh, Feather Druid? Because the Goblin I'm not going to beat. My team comp does not beat the Goblin. Like, I know that. As soon as he hit his six Goblin, as soon as he hits a two-star Devastator, uh, that person is basically unkillable for me. So then, at that point of the game, my mission needs to be kill the kill the feather druid so i'm scouting the feather druid because i want to position well against the feather druid so we get them out we we finish off their last what is it i i think they're nor i'm not sure which one they are but anyways we want to kill them get them out of the game so i secure my second and who knows right now it's 58 health to two health so you know maybe something crazy happens maybe they lose to a minion round highly unlikely but um things do happen but anyways i'm actually not even going to show the end of the video I will say I end up losing. Um, the the goblin just comes back. They they hit their full comp, their full synergy. They made it to late game. Okay, but here's another reason I chose this video: is ask yourself how lucky did that goblin player have to get to hit their devastator? Right, we're only at round 33. Right, they hit a two star devastator at round like around round 30. I think it might have even been round 29. They hit a two star devastator. So like, how lucky does somebody have to get to hit that? Right, and the reason I point this out is imagine I was in a game and I was I was win streaking like we we did this game and I was being slow with my tempo. Right, I was being greedy. I was just staying at 50 gold and slowly re rolling. Right, do you think this game would have ended at round 35, 36? No, this game probably would have dragged on round 40, round 45, right? Then if that goblin hits, if a game goes to round 50 and somebody hits their God of Thunder, hits their Devastator, then really it's whoever, the, the person to blame is not that, oh, that player got lucky. You should be blaming yourself for letting the game be so slow that you gave them a ton of opportunity to reroll for their Devastator, reroll for their God of Thunder. But, I mean, in games like this, like, it's going to happen. Like, what can I do about this Flash Dagger, Mana Crystal, 2-star Devastator? I did everything I possibly could. I sped up the game as much as I could. It is just going to happen. So, but the final point I'm trying to make is the reason I speed up the tempo here, like, in this type of game, the reason you would want this style of play is, one, it will make you consistently finish first more often, and, two, this is a great way to counter builds that are greedy builds greedy builds are mages they want slow games uh, glacier knights are slow right they want time to reroll let them hit their three stars goblin gamble they want slow games they need time to hit their devastator but anyways um i think that's all the notes i am going to let this video finish out for those of you who want to see the ending but uh that is everything i had to say so as always take care happy ranking and i will talk to you all tomorrow